Okay, this is SAT math uh, for people who didn't take like algebra two. Just really quickly, again, this is meant to confuse you. Here is a to the third power, sometimes called a cubed. And we know a to the second power is called a squared. So here we are. And um, we're going to remember that you're going to use a distributive property. And that means that this a to the third power has to go to each power in this term. It can go on this term after we get this negative 144a over to the other side. So let's look at how we're answering that. And again, this is an actual question taken from an SAT. What are the possible roots of the following equation? We're looking for roots. Now they give you several things and a lot of you are who, who are quick know that all they're asking you to do is to factor this. And when they ask you to factor this, they're asking you to take negative five times negative five. They're asking you to figure this. You already see that. And a lot of people might say, well, let me go for either A or D, but let's look at what really happens. Okay, so now you know you have to distribute a cubed to the second. You have a powers rule. And with your powers rule, and this is plural here because it's all powers, you actually subtract two. So you have a powers rule. And with a powers rule, you're going to add three plus two because there is a parentheses there. And three plus two equals five. Okay, and then you have an a3 to the other side, 25, 3a, and then you have a negative 144a, so you distribute on all sides. Okay, so you have an a5 minus 25a to the cube equals negative 144. You have to take it to the other side. When you do this, you guys see this is an equation written in standard form. And this would be your A term, this would be your B term, this would be your C term, but that's for later. So you have all these equations that have a variable. Okay, so you have now uh, that situation. You want to take rid of A because you are solving for the possible roots. And the possible roots have to be of the whole equation. But for those of you who did take regular algebra 1 and 2, you know that your possible roots is also another way of saying what else can equal A. A is the only variable in the equation, so that's what you're looking for. Okay, so now you have a fourth to the negative 25 uh, a to the second, and you have 144 by itself because you factored it out. We factored it out. We took one from here, we took one from here, and then we took this completely out. Okay, so now your a term is a fourth minus 25 to the a to the second plus 144. A lot of people are going to try to factor this back in, but that's just double work. Don't do that. Okay, so now you're going to solve for what these roots were. And all you're doing here now, big word, factor. You just got to factor out what is done. And you're going to factor out negative 9 plus negative 16 equals negative 25. Okay, do you know why I chose this? Because that's how you add it. So you might have two negative terms. Okay, here's the other thing. Negative 9 times negative 16 is going to give you a positive 25. I'm sorry, equals a positive 144 not 25. It's going to be a positive 144. So these are your terms. Now when you look for these, your mind has to think that this is going to be 3 times a negative 3, and this is going to be a negative 4 times a positive 4. Okay, and this over here is where your negative 5 and this and that another, but that's only if you add these. So don't start thinking about negative 5 right now and positive 5. Don't do that. We're not, we're not thinking about them. See, that's the distraction question. That's what they want you to do. 
So now, um, the same numbers can be used. We went over this. This is just uh, reiterating what was already said. And so now all your roots are here because a minus 4 plus a plus 4 is going to give you this term, which is negative 16. And this here is now going to give you both these terms. Okay, you're going to give you your negative 16, and both these terms are going to give you your negative 9. What about this negative 25? This is just to show you how to add. So it's a distractor. So your roots are here. And you can go to the extra spot of like solving for them once you have them up here, and once you've factored it out. Okay, this is nothing but basic factoring. So when you see this question on the SAT, you have to know you are factoring out an equation. And once you factor, you can save your time and not even solve this. But these uh, letters written here in the green and the purple were done to show you how it really works. So, you know, it's done to show you how, you know, something can be done. So you have this here. And uh -huh. You have a to the fourth, which is already written up here, and you have a to the negative fourth, and you have a to the positive three. These are all your possible roots. So when you get ready to answer the question, let's look at how they relate. Okay, so these are your possibilities, your choices a, b, c, and d. So you don't see negative five here at all. So you scratch out A and B, and this is a distractor because you have to take the root. The root is the bottom part of what the equation can be. And your only then possible answer is C, which are all here, negative 4, positive 4, positive 3, negative 4. You are done. Just look at what's going on and try to think through this, and then you're done with this part of the SAT. If you have any questions, we're at jacobislearning at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.